Okay, well, I took my chair out so I could film the tattoo tour, but I feel like we should do more than just a tour. Like you guys, I know you guys want this because you've asked, but listen, I'm gonna show you guys a few new makeup items that I got first. Oh my God, first off, <gasps> run to Target and get this freaking bottle. How cute is this? Did I need it? I mean, okay, we don't need to talk about that, but it's so cute. Simple Modern, 25 bucks, obsessed. I'm going to show you guys a few new things that I got that I'm loving. Then we're going to get into the tattoo tour. That's my humidifier. That's my jungle. I love it. Okay. First things first. Heart is hoof. Is it hoof or hoof? I, I don't know. Ordered this on Amazon. Very cheap. I think it was maybe like between five and ten dollars. So it's a cream for your nails. It smells like a tropical vacation. And I love it. It's supposed to help with like peeling. It's supposed to moisturize. It's supposed to be like a magic cure-all for your nails. And I've been using it. And I have to say, I think it's helping. So if you're having some janky nails like I am, I actually did gel. So we're going to see how it holds up. So far, so good. Um, last time I did gel, they peeled off like in one strip. Was not good. And I was on vacation at the time. So, I've been liking this. I think it's doing something. I mean, even if it's not, it's very moisturizing. And it's nice because with a cuticle oil, you know, it's kind of greasy. This just kind of soaks in. You're not left with that, like, you know. It's good. Okay, Iconic Nude. I bought this from Sephora. I think I bought the wrong shade. I bought Champagne Chic. It's really light, you guys. I mean, it's pretty, like, I think even if the color was what I needed it to be, I don't know that I love it. It dries really quickly, like really fast. It's kind of hard to blend. It's pretty, but I don't think I love it. Like, if you look up really closely, it's, I don't know, there's something about it that, it almost looks a little ashy, but I think that might be the color. So it's the Iconic London Rollerball. I don't know the exact name, but you'll be able to find it if you want it, but don't recommend. Okay, so you guys all know my obsession with the Dibs Beauty little double-sided guy. Number two is the one that you guys have been seeing in my videos. This is the one that I've been using. Amazing. I'll swatch them both for you. So this is number two. So there's the bronzer side, and I love this thing. I mean, I've told you guys how much. I mean, the love runs so deep. But number three came back into stock last week. When I tell you that this is perfection, I love it so much. The bronzer is a little bit cooler and the blush, I thought it was going to be too light. It is amazing. Like this is the one. Number three. Oh my god, I love it so much. I love number two, but I really love number three. Like, they're both my children, but you know you always have a favorite. Even if you say you don't, you have a favorite. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Now, these are new. I have not tried them yet. I did do little swatching on Snapchat. Pop-Tart and Too Faced. Who ever thought we would see, like, a Pop-Tart collab? Anyway, this one is brown sugar cinnamon, and they do smell kind of like a Pop-Tart. This one's really pretty, really pretty. I'll pop swatches in for you. And then this is the, of course, the iconic, my favorite, strawberry. Very pretty. So I don't know how the quality is going off of swatches. I think that they're going to be decent. Pop-Tarts, like who ever thought that this would be a thing? We're now collabing with like Sesame Street and Pop-Tarts. It's just wild to me. So I do have a get ready with me coming where I'm gonna show you guys the absolute best Korean BB cream. I'll give you a little, I'll show it to you, but we're not gonna talk about it because I'm gonna talk about it in the get ready with me. This is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I love this thing more than you can even imagine but we're gonna talk we're gonna talk more about it but i bought this one 
and I've kind of been loving this one too. Korean beauty has taken over my life. Korean skincare, Korean makeup, I want it all. This was so inexpensive. I got shade number 27 light tan. I have it on today. I'll give you a little peek. I do have to darken it up with like the drunk elephant drops, but oh my gosh, I love it. And they're so cheap. It's so good. It's so freaking good. Okay, I th oh, one more thing. I, I think we already talked about this. If you have not yet bought the Physician's Formula Liquid Highlighter, pause this video and go freaking buy it. And the bronzer is also really great, but the highlighter, the freaking highlighter, this is my everyday highlighter. It's all that I've been wearing. Like you need, where can I put it? You need the tiniest drop. It blends like a dream. It dries down, it doesn't make me oily. It is so freaking beautiful and it's so cheap. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. One more thing that I'm, I don't know, I'm unsure. The In Beauty Project Face Glaze. Okay, this is so pretty. Let me show you. I just don't know how I wanna really use it yet, but it is so, so pretty. Like I have mixed it with my, like a skin tint and it looks really pretty. It just kind of makes me a little bit too dewy, but look at that. <gasps> it's so pretty. If you're dry, you would love, you would love this. I mean, I really like it. I just haven't really figured out exactly how I want to use it yet, but it's really pretty. The packaging is so dang cute. Oh. I mean, the sheen that it gives, the luminosity without being like glittery or like overdone. Oh, pretty. Okay, now we're getting into the tattoo tour. We've done beauty. We've done, hold on, let me get a wipe. Oh, here, you can look at the BB cream while I take off my swatches. Don't look at my pool hair. It needs washed. But it's really pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> guys, I love this, okay? I love this. I'm adding this in because I forgot to show you. You'll see why I'm in a different outfit. Just don't ask questions. <laughs> don't freaking ask questions. The new Maybelline skin tint, oh, she's good. Now, I have heard people with dry skin say that they hate this. If you're oily, you will love it. If you're dry, Word on the street is you will hate it, but oh baby, she's good. I have shade number 310. This shade is perfection. I will show you. The shade is good. Ah, look at that. I mean, it's like it was made for me with a little bit of some bronzing drops. Bitch, yes. Also, I've been using the L'Oreal um, I bought this before, this little skin tint thing. I didn't think I liked it, but I tried it again because sometimes I don't give things a fair shot and I actually really like it. I need a darker shade. This is four to five. Amazing color if you're like olive complected, but I need a little bit, a little bit darker for summer. I love it. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. It's good. So you guys have been asking me for a tattoo tour for a while and I am so happy to do it because y'all know I love my tattoos. Let me make room. Let me make some room. Okay, so I'm, oh shoot, I'm going to start with this arm. No, I'll start with, I'll start with this arm and we're going to work our way down. Not all of my tattoos have meeting, meeting, <laughs> not a steak, uh, meaning, but a lot of them do. Okay, so we're gonna start with this guy. This is just a rose. It doesn't really have any meaning. I just thought it was really cute. Then I have this playing card for my gram. We used to always play Rummy and she would always let me get the aces and it was like a big deal. I would be like so excited. So that is from my gram. Okay, let's go to the back of my arm. So I have a whole little flower situation that like, I got it done, then I wanted it darker, then I wanted to add 
these little bees and the butterfly. So it kind of evolved over time, but I love it. It looks so cute. Like I love these little bees so much. And then we have my little bunny fairy. Uh, this is for my little Baxter bunny. If you guys follow me on Snapchat last year, I had this bunny in my yard. I was in love with this little bunny. So that's my little Baxter bunny. In here, I just have some flowers and he kind of curved them so that they would like fit in that area. Cause I had no plan when I did this. Like I started with the moth and it just kinda, it just kinda took off. So just some random flowers. I still have like space under here that I need to fill in. Um, I have a little sparrow for my gram. It's actually, I think like a, a finch or like a wren, I don't know. But I call it a sparrow. There's a whole story when my grandma died. The day that we buried her, my mom was crying and she's like, just send me a sign. And in flew this little bird, flew around the house, landed on my grandma's dish towel, and then was just like going with the wind. So we've always associated birds with my grandma. Um, a lot of my tattoos are for my gram. She was like the most influential person in my life. So yeah. Um, so that's for my gram. I have a little Pisces because I'm a Pisces, but I'm a Aries rising and a Aries moon. So I'm very much also like a fiery Aries, but um, anyway. Okay, moving down here. This was a cover up. It wasn't supposed to be a cover up. <laughs> okay, so I had that little rainbow here, which I loved. I loved it. I'm going to get it put on another area of my body. But I had a little triangle here. It was like a glyph that me and the kids all had. But it was very badly done. Not done by my guy now that I go to. Um, so I wanted to cover it. So we just ended up having to also cover the rainbow in, in the process, you know. But I love these flowers. These are my mom's favorite flowers. Violas, Johnny Jump Ups. They have different names. Um, I have Never Leave the Disco, which is just like... Never stop living, never, you know, never stop dancing. Live your life regardless of your age, regardless of what other people say. Never leave the freaking disco. Okay, moving over here, I have a olive branch because I'm Greek. So that's just like a little homage to my Greek heritage. I have a little flower just because I needed to fill some space and he kind of fit in there well. Uh, this moth, Emma and I both have. The, the moth is like a symbol of the bisexual community, which I am a part of. So that's what that guy is for. I have a lily of the valley for my gram. That was one of her favorite flowers. Number 17 is my lucky number. was my softball number. So I got the 17 and the peace sign, which is for my mom. At the same time, and I don't know why I put them right beside each other, and I hated it. So I had him do like a little postage stamp situation just because I hated the way they looked right beside each other. And now it's much better. Um, I have a wishbone just because I thought it was really cute. Um, I have this little potion bottle because it's freaking cute. There's no reason for it. A moon with like an arrow through it. Uh some little dice just because I needed to fill that area and they are, look how cute they are. I mean, come on, they're adorable. This one I've had for a long time, I Am Enough. I got that in like 2015, I think. I thought about covering it, but I got it in a time in my life where I needed that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna keep it for now. I have a little snake on the back of my arm that I kind of regret. I wish I would have just done him a little bit different. It's not my favorite, but we love him. He's kind of cute. I have a D for Duke, which was my dog that passed away. This is one of my favorite tattoos, this little vase. It's really hard to show, but it's like a little vase of flowers. I just love it so much. It's so cute. And then I have a fish because I'm a Pisces. Oh, I think I forgot to show you guys the little bee. Like with like the little, oh, I love that. I might get another one of those in another area. I think that's just so cute as like filler. So cute. And then like throughout my arm, I just have like little sparkles and you know, just like little, little things just to make it like 
kind of fun. Okay, did we do everything on this arm? I think we did, so there's like an overview. I do wanna get back here. I wanna get a hummingbird, like in this area. That might be one of my next ones. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty much happy with where I'm at. I don't know that I'm gonna get a ton more, but I'll definitely get a few more. Okay, moving over to this side, I have poppies, which are Emma's birth flower, and a little uh, praying mantis, because I love praying mantises. I'm afraid of bugs, but praying mantises can climb all over me. I love them. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that. That is Tara's birth flower. And then I might as well do this hand before I forget. I have agape, which is love in Greek. I wish I would have done a different font. It's not my favorite, but it's there and we love her. I have butterflies with just like a little sparkle. I have a heart. This is my newest one, the heart and the agape. Um, I think that's it for my hand. I have a little sun guy over here, which kind of faded a little bit already, but it's cute. Okay, and then up here, this is also one of my newest ones. I think this is my favorite tattoo that I have, the rib cage with the flowers and the butterflies. And my mom cracked so many jokes about this. She's like, what? What would even possess you to get a rib cage? Like, is that a microphone? I was like, mom, stop judging me. But I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And then I have the disco sunflower, which this arm I love so much because that is so cute. And then on my shoulder, I have a big peony that kind of goes down onto my chest. Also love that. I knew that on one of my shoulders, I wanted to do like a shoulder cap. So I, I love this tattoo. So pretty. This part hurt like a bitch, but so pretty. Oh, I have <laughs> Keep On Dancing. Tara also has the same one, same spot. Um, it's our favorite disco song, and there's a little lemon because we love a lemon drop shot, okay? We just really love some Tito's. Oh, and then this was a cover-up. I had stars here that were really badly done, so we just covered it up with this little flower. Cute. I love him. He's really good. So on my belly, I have a butterfly that I literally got when I was like 18. I don't know what I was thinking. I hate it. I hate it with every ounce of my being, but it's there and we're just gonna leave him to do whatever he wants to do with himself. I hate it, but I'm not, I'm not covering it because stomach tattoos are a bitch. So I, no, I'm not covering it. It's just gonna have to stay there. Okay, so don't look at my vitiligo. I'm gonna try not to put that in there. I have vitiligo. I have little areas on my body that are like really white. It's just a thing. Okay, I can't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I love this tattoo. It hurt so badly. I mean, the most painful tattoo that I've had done, but it's so pretty. It's just perfect. I love where it's at. Uh, I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Uh, 1924 was the year that my gram was born. I have a little monstera leaf that, ugh, perfection. Look how cute she is. And then this one, this was a spur of the moment tattoo and I never do that. I always have my tattoos picked out ahead of time, but it's like a woman's face. There's her lips, her nose. Like sometimes I feel like I have to explain to people what it is, but it's a woman flower face thing. Yeah, and I love it. And it, Really didn't hurt that bad. The lower part of the leg is a bitch, but the upper part, like these were a breeze. And then over here I have just a cute little, little sun guy. So cute. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my foot. How am I gonna do this? Okay. So it says you keep me wild and Aaron has one that says you keep me safe. So. That's our little friend tattoo. Okay, I'm gonna go change, I'll be right back. Okay, I put my little tank top on, side note. Oh, not tank top, it's like a sports bra. I just have no torso. Um, I ordered this from TikTok. It's Alexandra Jane or Alexander Jane. It was very cheap and it is so comfortable. I love this thing. Okay, let's go look at my back. Okay, so on this side, I have a magnolia flower, which is so pretty. 
Hopefully that's focusing. She's cute. Should I zoom you in? Oh, there you go. Look at my freaking thin ass braid in the way. And then over here, I have a line from a Queen song, uh, Don't Stop Me Now. It says, and the world, I'll turn it inside out. Love her. I'm not a big like quote tattoo person, but I freaking love that. It's so cute. And like how good would something look on my spine, but I know it's going to freaking hurt because like the in, the inner part of these words was a different kind of tattoo paint. It was like burning, a burning knife going through my back. So maybe one day. Okay. So the other terrible area is right here. Now for some people, it doesn't bother them. This area was torture. I planned on like covering this. <laughs> There's no way. Just this little bit here and this little bit. And like, I can't even describe the pain. And obviously I can take pain. Another kind of pain. So that's the worst area. I don't like the wrist. I don't like the ankle or the lower part of the leg. But I think those, like the arms are easy. Other than like in here, like this guy, he was, he was a little like up by the armpit. Yeah, that's a little spicy. Okay, so I think, I think that's gonna do it. Um, sometimes people ask me like, why did you do it now? And you're like, old. I'm 45, I'm not old. Um, I always said I was gonna do it. And I was like, maybe I'll do it when I'm 30. Maybe I'll do it at 35. And I was 45 and I'm like, well, if I don't do it now, it's probably never going to happen. So, uh, we freaking did it and I love it so much. Like I wish I would have done it 20 years ago because I want to enjoy them. Like I'm already 45. I feel like I don't have that much time left to enjoy them before my freaking skin starts sagging. Oh my God. I didn't show you guys my cross. I've had that forever. I, <laughs> I thought about turning it into like a dagger. But, you know, she's there. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it there. I think I've showed you guys everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what I should do next because as soon as summer is over, we are walking these long legs right back into that tattoo shop. And you guys always ask me if I'm gonna fill up this arm. I always said I wouldn't do both arms. I don't know, I just like the look of them being different. So I'm really trying to keep this open, but it's not working out too well for me. So maybe, I don't know, you guys tell me what I should do next. I wanna do a few more on like one of my legs, just a couple, I love, like I love these so much, they're so cute. Um, but yeah, tell me what I should do next. I think I need to get a mushroom. My mom loves mushrooms. I love mushrooms. So I can't believe I don't have one yet. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. We can, we cannot end this video without me showing you guys how beautiful, how beautiful scale of one to 10, 10 out of 10. I'll answer the question for you. 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Look how beautiful, are you kidding me? I just got this one. He's new. This is a Calathea. He's kind of new, he's an Alocasia and he is my pride and joy. He's new, he's a black velvet Alocasia. Um, oh, and I just got him today. This is a mini Monstera. It's not a Monstera, but they call it a mini Monstera. He needed some water, so I just, gave him a little fertilizer. I have a plant obsession. If you guys haven't figured it out, I have a very addictive personality. Uh, right now I'm addicted to tattoos and plants and Tropic Low body butter. But yeah, I have a very, very addictive personality. So this is where we're at. I am obsessed with plants and I'm obsessed with tattoos and I wouldn't have it any other way. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't bring you joy looking at that little table right now. Yes, it does. You're lying if you say it doesn't. Look at him. He's like, bitch, I'm about to tell you off, but I'm trying to hold it back. So, um... <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? It'll do. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Oh my God. I know somebody will have a good idea.
freaking study and give it. Give me the homework. What? Oh my god, for my dumb bitch. I hate this plant. This is a freaking peace lily. She gives me no peace. She is a temperamental bitch. Bitch, you got the expensive soil. This is top of the line. I stand away for this shit for your dumb ass. And you still have the audacity to be hanging over. Perk up. Mm, bitch. It's a good day for a tattoo tour. Ew, that's like a literal stork coming into your life. Oh, another favorite. My 1111 necklace. They're my angel numbers. <laughs> Oh my god, these biker shorts are literally crawling into my intestines. 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 Small intestine. Small intestine. Um, anyway. These are from American... No, they're not. They're from Aerie. These are the best biker shorts you will ever find because they don't have the seam at the bottom that, like, tightens on your leg and makes your little fat roll pop out. Run and buy it. Buy the Tropic Low Body Butter. What else did I tell you to run and buy? I forget, but whatever it was, go buy... Oh, the, was it the bottle? I don't know. Just go buy everything. Tell your husbands to send me the bill. Why do husbands be getting so mad? Like, we just want to spend a little money. We have to. It keeps us grounded. It keeps us sane. And I don't want to hear it. You shut your mouth, sir. I bought this shirt at Urban Outfitters. Oh, my God. I, I have shorts on. It's so good. Tell me this is not the best t-shirt. Look at the back. 